What's going on, y'all? Derek Bryan here, Slay Outdoors, and welcome to the kitchen. Here's where we show you what we do with the wild game that we bring home, some of our favorite recipes, and uh, hopefully y'all can enjoy some back at the house as well. Uh, Other than that, let's get cooking. Big fish left here. We're on. <laughs> cook up some of that amberjack we caught uh, if you didn't catch that video a little link right here go catch it um, no pun intended tonight I'm gonna cook it up with uh, some red potatoes and some fresh green beans these fresh green beans I've already I always cut the ends off of them you know you don't have to I don't think I've just always done it that way so but what I'm gonna do with these red potatoes I'm gonna sit here and cube them up real quick uh, I'm gonna fast forward it. I'm not that fast at cutting, so you don't have to deal with it. I'll fast forward it for you. Whew. That was fast. As you can see here, I'm kind of cutting these into nice healthy pieces you know there ain't no science behind it just good healthy pieces now what i'm gonna do let me get this cutting board out of the way we can leave it right here now what all i'm gonna do i'm gonna throw these bad boys in a little olive oil again no exact science just a little olive oil enough to kind of coat these bad boys into a healthy mix actually when i got olive oil all over my hand these fresh green beans i'm gonna do the exact same love olive oil around here I'm just Toss some bad boys a little bit as well. I probably should have done these in the exact opposite bowls. Hindsight, baby. Hindsight. So I'm going to rinse off my hand real quick. All right. Now, we got both our veggies covering up olive oil. Now we're gonna do a little salt. I love these things. A little salt in a jar makes it so easy. You can sit there and do the little salt bay. Oh, look at that. I'll throw a link in the description below for that little guy. Amazon, gotta love it. Mix it up, mix it up. A little fresh cracked pepper. Oof. I always throw a little, I always have a little towel around. No one likes olive oil all over their pepper grinder. Well, now I've done got it oily. And guys, if you don't have a pepper grinder, there's stupid cheap on Amazon too. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm a Amazon guy. So, we'll throw a little pepper on here. Uh, my final thing, probably you can't pick this up at Amazon. Sold here locally at HEB. It's called Texas Blacken. Pretty good seasoning. I'm just going to do a little dash of that. Get 
these things mixed up. Veggies are all, veggies are all seasoned up. I'm gonna go start preheating the Traeger. I'm gonna be doing everything on the Traeger tonight. Uh, probably set that bad boy about 350. Um, but I'll get that Traeger preheated, then we'll come back, I'll show you how I wrap these up to get them ready for the grill. All right guys, I'm back. I'm about to get this stuff wrapped up. So as you can see, I got my aluminum full. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you exactly how much because everyone's gonna be different. I'm just cooking for my wife and I tonight, so not too much foil is gonna get used. I like to make, so basically, you're just making yourself a little bowl. That's what I like to call it. Just a little bowl to put this stuff in, or something like that. Potatoes are going to fit real nice in there. Boom. Now these are perfect just the way they are, but me, I like to get a little bit more unhealthy. I like to throw in a little butter. When I say a little, I mean a glob. That butter's going to make that taste good because that's its job. That's what it does. So I'm just going to kind of roll this over on itself. Make a nice little My thing is I don't like to make it too tight You make it too tight Because what's going to start happening is the steam's going to start rolling in there And you want it to cook nice and even So I don't pack mine real tight Some people do I don't know I'm just kind of I've never really packed it too tight. There we go. Again. Better with butter. Sa. I don't know where that little guy thinks he's going. But same thing. I'm going to roll these up like this. Kind of get it going like that. And man, I'm, I mean... I'm not an origami expert, not a professional full wrapper. I just like to make a little boat nice and steamy. All right, now we got these nice and wrapped up. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them on the grill. These take a little bit longer than the fish does. So while these are sitting on the grill, I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna season up the fish. I got our fish out. Nice filet of amberjack, got the veggies on and cooking. So, I don't know if you noticed, I left the skin on my fish. You don't have to. I prefer to leave the skin on it because it comes off easier once it's cooked. I just think it cooks a little bit better. Uh, I don't know if you can see right here this really dark meat. So you got really light meat, really light meat. Right in the middle, you got really dark meat. That's the bloodline. Uh, that's where a lot of people experience that fishy taste, that gamey taste. I cut that right out. So here, with it on the skin, I just cut a little V, just like this. That way you're not wasting too much meat and you're getting the bloodline out. So basically, now, so we got most of that out. And then this one, we're just gonna go right down and get all that out. Anyways, now we got two beautiful pieces of fish. All right. Now we got two beautiful pieces of fish. So let's get this bad boy seasoned up so we can throw it on the grill. Olive oil. As always, 
because it's my favorite. We eat healthy around here, guys. I just pour a little bit on the skin and rub it on in. Don't be afraid to get a little bit on the on the skin down there. She'll be all right. Mm-hmm. She'll be all right. A little salt. A little pepper. Olive oil all over this bad boy. She's slick. My wife's going to be mad at me on that one. And again, Texas Original Blacken from H-E-B. I don't know if you noticed, but that's exactly how I season my veggies. And that was on purpose. I'm going to give this one a pretty good, nice, healthy rub of this stuff. There we go. Let that soak in for about... I'm going to go about 10, 15 minutes. I'm going to throw just a little bit of butter. Plop. Plop. That way you can just cascade over that. Oh, that little bit of butter got some fish scale on it. That ain't no good. That ain't no good. You don't want fish scales on your meat. Just a heads up. If you get fish scales on your meat, you will not have a pleasant experience. Probably should have thought about that before I cut the butter with the knife that I just sliced through the skin with. You know, point of this channel is to learn, I guess. So we got butter for days all over this bad boy. Like I said, we'll let that sit for about 10 or 15 minutes. I'm throwing it on the trigger. All right. What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the backyard at the grill. Figured I'd just cut in. Who doesn't like watching meat get slapped on? You can see the veggies are already on there. And we about to throw this fish down. Lay it down. There we go. Oh. Eh, well, I lost a piece of butter, but that's to be expected. It's hot in there. So, veggies, fish, boom. We'll come back here in a little bit and see how it cooks. All right, guys. Stuff's been sitting at about 350. You can't really see that, but it's been sitting around 350. We've had the green beans and potatoes on there for about 30, 45 minutes. And that fish, you can see it kind of took a little, took a little chunk out of it. Cook's got to eat. So look at that. Let me get this stuff off the grill and into the kitchen. We'll cut into it, see what it looks like. All right, guys. As you can see, everything came off the grill perfect. Green beans got a nice little bite to them. Mmm. Boy, you can't beat fresh green beans. Potatoes. They soaked up that olive oil real good. Hot. It's hot. That fish just flakes apart like that. Mmm. Guys, I'm telling you, man, 
If you ain't tried Amberjack, if you ain't tried it this way, I've seen some people fry and stuff. That's a good way to do it. So, if you like the video, if you like the content, like and subscribe below. Uh, like I said, if you didn't see us catch this Amberjack, check out the video. And uh, we'll catch y'all on the next one.